guys welcome back okay so I decided to do a couple of videos I don't know if it'll actually be a series for me because you know I get bored and then I move on <laughs> but I decided to do a few videos just kind of trying out again or actually trying for the first time palettes that were in my palettes I regret video okay because some palettes I hadn't even tried yet, but just looking at them, it was like, nah, I regret buying it because I ain't gonna use it. So you guys know, if you watch that video, some of those palettes, I was just like, no, I'm not here for it. So decided to go ahead and start trying some of them out just to see, do I really regret it? Or am I just afraid to use it? Am I not creative enough? What's happening, okay? So the first palette that I decided to use is this Juvia's The Deuce palette. I don't know if it's called The Deuce, The Deuce, The Dulce. I know people have probably told me how to say it, but I don't remember. But y'all know what palette I'm talking about. It's this one, okay? Really gorgeous, beautiful colors in here, but it's just not really a color story or a color scheme that I would particularly gravitate to so as you can see I did use this palette to create this look today I don't know if you guys can tell but I have on my purple lashes I thought that I could go ahead and break the purple lashes out today I did get these lashes from Uma Beauty it was part of their little carnival collection with the carnival palette and all that good stuff so I still have my purple lashes so I did go ahead and pair them with this look and I actually really like it so yeah you know after using this palette for the first time actually giving it a chance I'm kind of like mm, I don't really regret it as much anymore I really don't you guys I kind of feel like okay it created a pretty unique eye look and I'm here for it so yeah I actually really like it I know this is an old palette it's a few years old I believe so it's not anything new for me to talk about or give you a review on personally I really really like Juvia's Place palettes I think there might only be like one or two of her palettes where I don't feel like it's her best you know formula or best type of palette but for the most part I love her formula I love her palettes so I definitely have to say I don't regret this palette anymore after trying it out so if you'd like to see how I created this look today using one of my regret palettes stay tuned because it's coming up next okay you guys as usual I'm starting out with some of my P Louise base and the first shadow that I'm going into is the dark brown which is chocolate and I'm taking a very small detailed brush and I decided to just kind of carve out the shape for this eye look today instead of doing how I normally do for my cut crease. So as you can see, I'm just using that small brush to carve out the shape for my eye look. Next, I'm going into the pretty purple shade, which is custard. And I'm just taking, well, I guess it's like a pinky purple shade, but it's more purple to me. <laughs> but I'm just taking a more dense brush and just placing that right above that brown. But because of the fact that I'm trying to blend out the edge and create a gradient, I'm using a bit of a denser brush. Next, I'm going into this pretty pink shade, which is called Creme and i'm using a very small fluffy brush just to blend that out on the edge of that purple shade up into my brow bone and these type of brushes this small brush really works nicely for that getting into a small space and blending out some colors so that's what i'm doing for this shade now i'm going to start working on my lid so i'm going into the shade tart which is this really really pretty it looks white in the pan but it's really like a lavender and white duochrome so I didn't wet my brush because I wanted to make sure that you could see that really pretty lavender shade popping through in that shadow and I think it really really comes through very very pretty and right next to that I'm going into the beautiful green which is macarons and I am just going to take a flat brush and place that right next to that first shimmer 
and just kind of blend those edges in together and as you can see I'm basically creating a cut crease shape but I'm just using the shimmer it's really really easy no muss no fuss and just making sure that those two colors are blended nicely together on my lid I think this green is probably my favorite shade in the palette very pretty now I'm just going back into Chocolat and just taking a small blending brush to tap that in the outer corner for this look and just blending it into that green so that the outer corner can be nicely blended with a really pretty gradient. Now I just put on a very thin line of black eyeliner, a black liquid eyeliner. This is my Wet n Wild, I believe. And I didn't want to do anything bold, no wing or anything like that. Just a very thin line for my lashes. So now my complexion is done and my lashes are on. Now for my lower lash line, I decided to go in with one of my chunky pencils. This is a bright green one from Shani. It's funny because some of these pencils I like and some of them I don't. This one I don't particularly like. Not very pigmented. So now I'm going back into Chocolat and just using the same small fluffy blending brush and just smoking out my lower lash line a bit. Going back into that beautiful mint green shimmer and just taking a dense brush to pop that in my inner corner. Once again, not wetting my brush at all. Just going in with the dry uh, shadow. I'm using my Pure Fully Charged Mascara today. Um, I think it worked really well on my lower lashes. It kind of gave them a spider look <laughs> effect. I'm not too sure how I feel about that, but it definitely showed up and lengthened them a bit, as you can see here. So this is the final look, you guys. As you can see, really simple, really easy. I did add the purple lashes just to give it an extra bit of flair, which I do really like. But I must say, for this palette, although it's not my favorite color story, I am glad that I did actually use it. I could see myself using the shimmers with other palettes to create different looks with maybe green or blue. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep this palette. <laughs> so. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me to create this look. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that like and I'll see you on the next one. Toodles!